ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the slippery steve channel it has been a very long time i know i apologize for being uh absent for a while but you know life happens and uh that's the way things go so we're just gonna roll with it lately i've been on an 80s 90s nostalgia kick and i just kind of wanted to get away from gaming just for a little bit take a break and uh you know do something i've never tried to do before which uh looked fun and i thought maybe we'd go down a deep dive of the nostalgia hole uh with some 80s and maybe some 90s memes and content and stuff on the reddit let's get right into it okay did you guys sneak into the local video stores dot only section uh, did you guys sneaked I, I sneaked did you guys sneaked yeah i definitely sneaked um it was the ultimate dare at 12 or 13 you'd be vibergasted I think that's supposed to be flabbergasted by bizarre titles, midgets, weird triple X videos. It felt unreal and traumatizing. Did you dare to enter? You badass. Share your funniest video story memories. Uh, well, I had the privilege of working at a video store for a long time in my teenage and high school years. And we definitely had that closet room. So like when those, uh, you know, shameless dudes came in with their uh, returns, usually they wouldn't come in. Uh, they would drop it in the little drop box on the outside, which you can't really blame them. Um, I wouldn't want to be going into a store returning those videos either, but I, I did have the pleasure of uh, putting them back as an employee. And I can assure you that I, I took my time perusing the uh, the scenery and uh, it was... Yeah. It was, it was weird as a teenager. Let's uh, let's check some comments here, man. I'm, I'm gonna see what, uh, what we have here. And Siva says, I didn't even look in that direction because I was so, I was scared that would trigger the talk. That's a pretty good response. Workshop response. I used to try to sneak a peek when the curtain opened, hoping to see a boob. <laughs> I think we all did that, pork chop. Uh, mine had saloon style doors. It was easy to get a look when someone went in or out. Saloon style doors is, uh, glassy. Yeah. We just had a really ugly curtain that looked like a bed sheet. It was pretty bad. What else we got here? Never got the chance. Our store had a big red velvet curtain and I asked my dad what was back there. He said it was just the employee break room and storage area and I believed him. By the time I was old enough to figure it out, Blockbuster had moved into town and put our mom and pop video magic store out of business. Effin' Blockbuster. Yeah, they did not have that section and a lot of mom and pop shops did kind of go down. But fortunately I lived in one of those one stoplight hick towns and uh, we still had ours up until like early 2000s. All right, oh boy, what's next? Oh, Inspector Gadget. Yes. Post nostalgia right here, man. I think I might get canceled for that. I don't know. Muted or something. No theme song gets more stuck in my head than this one. Oh, you can just go hit the back like that. I am not a Redditor. Burger King Playground is still open in a small town. I couldn't believe my eyes. Yeah, man. I think McDonald's and stuff still have some around. You just gotta go to the older ones. Tell me in the comments, man, how, how awesome was the playgrounds and, and the scenery in McDonald's with the weird chairs and tables and what was it, Grummus and Ronald McDonald and the Hamburglar? Is this why we all started using fanny packs and man purses when we became adults? Pouches were everything in comic books back then. Jim Lee, Todd McFarlane, Rob Leefield, they never met a pouch that don't... They, didn't like they didn't i can't read what's this oh man i actually don't remember these i don't think i ever got these this is from the 90s what is what are these things called stickers usually found with chewing gums hmm i missed the chewing gum stickers damn why 90s why would you do this to me? Exclude me from the stickers of the magic gum. Oh, look, my cat. 
Exo Mutant. Everyone up! Oh, wow. Everyone in! Time for the fun to begin! Come along with us to Zubilee Zoo! Zubilee Zoo! Yes. 80s nostalgia right there, man. Okay, so which one did you have a crush on? That was mine, right there. She was my crush. As I was a five and a half year old at this point. Yeah. I had hormones, man. Holy shnit, this invoked memories I didn't know I had. That fox guy was in the nightmares. It was in my nightmares for years. Just a straight, <laughs> straight up demon of a man fox. I hate him with a fiery passion that could burn down the whole zoo. <laughs> This show created a generation of furries. Oh, damn. That sexy kangaroo. <laughs> Came here to say this, LMAO. I'm a furry, but this show was a nightmare to me. Oh, man. Did, did you think it spawned the furries? Maybe? I don't know. I loved the show. I thought it was awesome. All right, what's next? 80s Miami. That's pretty cool. That's like before Vice City, before we destroyed the streets with our mass homicides and vehicular thunder bumps. I've been on a binge of some of my favorite 90s movies and boy does my cousin Vinny hold up. I think all about these, uh, I think about all these blockbusters we get and sometimes all I want is a feel good comedy. Did you say the two of Utes? If somebody doesn't comment that in here, I'm gonna be disappointed. Come on, where is it? Two of Utes. The two Utes, there it is. The two Utes. Let's see if that jumps us right to it. The two Utes. The uh, uh, two what? Oh, oh, what was that word? Uh, what word? Two what? What? Did you say Utes? Yeah, two Utes. Mm. What is a Ute? <laughs> oh, excuse me, Your Honor. Two Utes. So, like, uh, what? What's your favorite '80s memory? movie or show like what do you remember i definitely remember these guys my pet monster in crossfire now playing doubling down by playing crossfire with your pet monster that's that's a win big win for you you were the wiener crossfire yeah you got it got it i love playing this game my parents hated the ruckus it made yeah it was uh those things didn't always stay on the board and um Sometimes they ended up in the vacuum cleaner. The step, oh, who can forget the step? And the uh, matching stretchy pants and crazy outfits that they wore with the hair sprayed hair and bonkers outfits with the, with the hair and the hair and the outfits and the hair. Mmm, 90s candy. I have two questions. What was your go-to candy from childhood? And if you had a friend who didn't have American candy before, what would you get them? Probably, probably gobstoppers. And what was the stuff where you dipped the stick into the powder? And basically we just threw the stick away and just pounded the powder down our mouths, our mouth holes and watched as our parents shook their heads and disappointment. Oh wow, a divorced couple dividing up their Beanie Baby collection in court 1990s. <laughs> How bad is this? Like, these things were so ridiculously wanted by so many people for so many reasons, which I never understood, but to each their own, I'm sure they're worth a lot more than what they're sacrificing their dignity on public TV or wherever that picture came from is. Yeah, uh, I dated a girl in high school that's mom was obsessed with Beanie Babies and it was kind of disgusting. It was, uh, it was cringe. Uh, before I knew what cringe meant, it was totes cringe. Totes. Totes cringe. I can see that right now. Erector sets. I hated these things. That's all I gotta say about that. If you played with them, that's cool. You were probably meant to be a mechanic or engineer or something. I did not care for these. Here we go. Sitting in the living room with your family on a Sunday night and AFB comes on, followed by the Bugs Bunny and Tweety show. No, no, maybe where you lived, but after America's Funniest Home Videos uh, was done, it was then America's... Oh, what was it? What the heck was it called? Hit me in chat if you know. Um, it was the one with the other guy, cousin or 
Uncle Joey or Uncle Danny, Uncle Danny from Full House. And he would always go, cut it out. You know what I'm saying? Cut it out. Is that me, the Yeah, he, he had some sort of thing just like this that came afterwards. Zorro, the gay blade premiered on this date 43 years ago. Oh, we're in R slash 80s now. What do they have to say about that? What do the kids have to say about that these days? This is a fun movie. I haven't seen it since the 80s, but I remember it fondly. This is out of the blue, but I remember calling George Hamilton the tan man because he had a serious tan in those days. I mean, a serious tan. Yeah, he, he looks pretty tan. He looks like a super happy tan man. I was wondering what the autopilot from the movie Airplane... What? I was wondering what the autopilot from the movie Airplane How do, had been up to. Glad to see he still has a grin on his face. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. We're going to skip that one. Robocop. The real and OG Robocop premiered today back in 1987. Dead or alive. You're coming with me. Excellent movie. Do you guys remember the video games that came out back then? We had one for our Apple or Macintosh computer. It was a floppy disk. <laughs> you guys remember playing floppy disk video games? Just give me my effing phone call. I'd buy that for a dollar. I'm quietly. I don't want to do that. I'm not. I'm, I'm going to slip into an Arnold accent. Boop, boop. Let's end it with this. And then if you guys like this video enough, comment and stuff and let me know. We'll move into the 90s and uh, see how we can make our 90s fam apps. Corey Feldman today in Wisconsin. I just got to say, have you guys seen pictures of Corey Feldman? Like recent pictures of Corey Feldman? He is freaky. And he's like a lead singer of a band and stuff. I think he's like put some weight back on, thank God. But like he was starting to look like a love child of Michael Jackson. And uh, I don't know, but uh, it was rough. But hopefully he's doing good. He was he was an awesome actor. He was like one of the best kids in 80s, early 90s movies. You always wanted to see him in something. Lost Boys. What else? The Goonies. Here, here we go. Here's a picture. Like it does not look healthy, man. Where did the picture go? That's the picture. Look at that. It's okay, man. You know, Hollywood does some shit to people. Where did I go? Corey Feldman was in the Goonies. At least there's no audio. Ooh, he is a featured regular on the crappy music sub. Ouch. That's, that's gotta hurt. 53rd birthday for him. Hell yeah. Happy birthday, man. How many wardrobe changes did he have? 61, I think. Hmm. How long was he on stage for? Half an hour or so. Five to six songs. Six songs and six wardrobe changes? Hmm. Far too long. Goonies never say die. All right, man. That's it for our nostalgic dive into uh, the 80s as an 80s baby. This was fun. If you guys had fun, let me know. If you want to see more content like this, pitch your own ideas. We'll, we'll go surfing through the reddits together and uh, find some other stuff. But I think next time I want to do the 90s and maybe kind of work our way up and see if these things like do anything. So don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you like the channel, man. Especially if you like somebody as ADHD as me, where it's just one channel and a whole bunch of stuff. So you never really get bored. Or maybe you do. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace!